Uh, Elon Musk is in Israel. Um, he is um, touring around, meeting, uh, he met Netanyahu earlier today. He's meeting the president of Israel, Herzog, tomorrow. He, he, he got a tour of the uh, area where some of the massacre happened. He's been near the border with the Gaza Strip. Uh, he is uh, meeting with families of the hostages. Uh, he's doing a, 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 you know, a PR uh, rehabilitation campaign in Israel. I mean, he, he took a real beating after, after uh, positively commenting on an anti-Semitic uh, tweet by an anti-Semite. Uh, which, which uh, uh, you know, Elon Musk approvingly commented on, then uh, explained the context that he only meant the ADL or whatever. But the reality is, and he took the PR blow for approvingly tweeting a tweet that was written by a known anti-Semite with the intention of being anti-Semitic. Uh, you know, Elon Musk might, might have criticism of particular Jewish groups that is not necessarily anti-Semitic, but why retweet or why comment positively on a tweet for whom five minutes of research would have discovered that the guy's an anti-Semite, a known active anti-Semite. Anyway, he got clobbered. Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, advertisers left X. Uh, Elon Musk is in Israel to try to smooth everything over, to show he really loves Israel. He's friends with Israel. Um, he's done an interview with Bibi Netanyahu um, that, that is available. I haven't listened to it yet. I did so, uh, uh, read a section of it where Netanyahu says, you know, we're going to have to, um, once, once we finish off Hamas, we're going to have to figure out uh, how, to, how to rebuild, ultimately, how to rebuild Gaza, right? Israel is going to rebuild Gaza. And Elon Musk says, I want to help. I want to help you build Gaza. All right. So uh, Musk is now committing billions to the rebuilding of Gaza. Uh, again, good PR for him. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, is, uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting how, how it plays out. It'll be interesting if there are any changes in terms of the attitude of some people on his platform towards Israel and towards Hamas. It'll be interesting to see uh, what Musk writes about uh, in, uh, in the future. Um, uh, and, you know, he is, um, yeah, he is trying to improve his image. And uh, I don't know if this will work. I hope so. Uh, but I don't know if it'll work. Uh, you know, I still want uh, Elon Musk to be successful. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's it, there's a certain. I, I mean, I wish Elon Musk would just stick to being a businessman. I mean, including running Twitter, just be in the background and run Twitter. You don't have to retweet. You don't have to create all this problems for yourself. You don't have to globe trot around the world, becoming a pseudo diplomat and pretending you care. You don't have to do all this stuff. Just run the frigging company properly. Just stay in the background and run it the way it's supposed to be run. Yeah, there's a X space, I guess, between Netanyahu, Lucas says, and Musk. He says 20 minutes long and worth listening to. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, yeah, I mean, I don't like Netanyahu. I don't particularly like Musk in this context. I don't like Musk. I like Musk as a businessman. I wish he'd just stick to that. Um, he's not. He doesn't do himself any favors when he opens his mouth up uh, and talks politics and freedom of speech and things like that. I don't think he actually knows what he's talking about. He is too much of a flake when it comes to these things.